And now, live in studio, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. He's a successful entrepreneur, published author, top listing agent, a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Yes, here we are again, another day committed to picking a fight with the mainstream media and always providing you the timely truth uh, centered around real estate, credit, finance, mortgage, solar, and so much more. You're listening to the Consumer Quarterback Show. Our number one goals are to educate, entertain, empower, and we want to engage with you so that we can help you win. The only thing I'm addicted to right now is winning. Save our hotline number in your phone, 813-670-7372. You used to call me on my cell phone. 813-670-7372. And make sure you bookmark our website, ConsumerQB.com, a plethora of information available for you on our website at ConsumerQB.com. You can see links to all of our expert contributors. All their contact information is there. Uh, you can submit an email form. That uh, email is going to come directly through to myself and my team. We're going to make sure we get back to you before our head hits the pillow. We want to engage with you. Any questions, comments that you may have, uh, any things that you're going on, going through in your life, uh, we've got 80-plus show partners uh, that we bring on the show every day. Uh, we're committed to helping you be that number one consumer advocate uh, to help you avoid a lot of the commission-based advice that's so prevalent uh, in our community. And uh, we have a really cool event coming up just around the corner, a couple of days away. Tampa Bay's largest speed networking event coming up on Thursday, December 6th at the Earthscape Garden Room in Palm Harbor. 6 to 9 p.m. We're actually going to extend that probably about 9, 30, 10 o'clock. Bring a stack of business cards to Tampa Bay's largest speed networking event. Uh, we have DJ uh, Ian Doubt going to be in the house uh, photo booth. We're going to have s'mores, going to have a raffle that's benefiting the Children's Cancer Center. Also giving away Talk of the Town goodie bags. Uh, so we would love to see you there Thursday, December 6th, next Thursday. That's going to be at the Earthscape Garden Room in Palm Harbor, just off of 19. Uh, tickets are available on Eventbrite. It is a free event. We're going to have catered food from Amici's Cater Cuisine, uh, bartender, all kinds of good stuff. Lots of good stuff. End of the year, holiday party, uh, gratitude party, compliments of Platinum MVP Realty, Tampa Bay's largest speed networking event. And be there, and you're going to meet a lot of great people. All right, in studio today, we got David in the house. David Ringo, 3D Solar. Welcome back, sir. Thank you so much, man. How you been? Awesome. Yeah, yeah, things are good. And, um, you know, solar's, solar's hot. Oh, my gosh, it is. It is so much so. Um, we are so much busier than we were last year. So um, it's been a great year for us, and uh, we're closing out really strong. And uh, one of the things I wanted to bring out to you today is we're looking for some good employees. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it, but... We're looking for good employees, and that's one of the things I want to talk about because, you know, there's there's a lot of people looking for good jobs, and uh, we're uh, desperately in need for some good employees. So Yeah, let's let's dive into that. Let's dive into that. I want to dive into it deeper. I want to give a shout-out to uh, Brothers Easy Moving, our official moving partner of the Consumer Quarterback Show. This segment is brought to you by Brothers Easy Moving. Uh, they strive to be the best movers in Tampa Bay by exceeding your expectations. Uh, they reviewed uh, their top – uh, in Tampa Bay, as far as their reviews, Google has them at a 4.9 rating, the highest in Tampa Bay area. A-plus rating for the Better Business Bureau, an A rating on Angie's List, Yelp, as well. Uh, that What sets them apart, they are a family-owned business, Brothers Easy Moving, exceeding your expectations from the first phone call. They can help with packing, supplies, they have insurance, uh, storage, and they are Brothers Easy Moving takes pride in offering the best Tampa Bay Moving Services, contact them today. Brothers Easy Moving is the official moving partner of the Consumer Quarterback Show. Hot property over in Riverview. This one is 9303 Alice Lane in Riverview, $599,000. This is right on the Alafaya River, 15 minutes to downtown Tampa. And you have almost an acre of land with this beautiful property. 9303 Alice Lane in Riverview. You had a separate mother-in-law suite upstairs, so this could be an income property, a rental property for you as well. Four bedrooms, three bath, estate-style pool home, beautiful property in Riverview, Florida. Beautiful, Tampa Bay. And coming up, man survives hang gliding uh, ride after pilot forgets to strap him in. Find out about that story coming up in our Feel Good segment for the show. I want to dive deep into it right now here. We've got David Ringo in the house, 3D Solar. So, David, yeah, you know, when you think about, 
you know, a company, you know, growing a company like you guys have, you know, the fast Tampa Bay's fast 50, you were came in at what was it? Number 11 or 12. number 12. So you, you've really growing. So part of the growing pains is finding good people to help you grow. What would you be looking for uh, in an employee whenever you do bring someone on? Well, it's interesting you say that because early we were always looking for skills and, and we've shifted looking from skill sets to certain character, you know? Right. So our culture is such that we don't really need this skill set. We just need happy people. It sounds crazy, but yeah. we actually are looking for happy, cheerful, hardworking people. Yeah. So we're looking for, um, we're looking for people in the office. We're looking for installers. We're looking for salespeople. Um, all three of those, those uh, different categories, we're looking for people. Um, but more than anything, it's ethics that we're looking for somebody that's going to represent our brand well. Yes. Um, and we train, you know, no matter what it is. So we're actually looking for somebody uh, in the office right away. Uh, nice. We're looking for help with uh, office answering phones, all, all permits, all kinds of stuff. So and, reach out to 3D Solar. How could, what's the website? Uh, it's 3-dsolar.com. 3-solar.com. If you... Three dash D solar. Sorry. Uh, so they're looking for right now for employment. So this is the business network. People are listening. I'm sure, you know, if somebody out there, if you're driving, maybe you're watching our TV show on WeBeam TV, but, uh, people are looking right now and uh 3d solar, great company to work for. Um, so do the, do you have a spot on their website where they can apply? We do. There's a, there's a careers page. Definitely. Or yeah. And, and they can go right on there, apply right on there. They can uh, reach out to us via email. Perfect. Um, they can actually post and upload a uh, resume on there as well. Nice. And I, I would recommend a, a specific cover letter. You know, that's always something that's going to set you apart. If you are uh, looking for a job or, you know, a specific cover letter is going to let that employer know, hey, I'm specifically interested in your company and here's why. Yep, exactly. And uh, we're looking, you know, there's a lot of people that say, I don't know anything about solar and I want to discourage them from being afraid of applying because... You know, and in our generation, we there, there's not been a lot of solar in the background. There's so solar is a booming industry, growing from relatively nothing a few years ago. Right. And everybody's well, I don't have the experience. Well, no kidding, nobody did. Not you know, many people I mean, do. Five, yeah. ten years ago, nobody did. So uh, I would encourage you if you want to learn about the industry, if you want to learn about installs, sales, anything about the industry, just reach out to us. Um, we're just looking for happy people that want to come in and join our family be part of the culture and and learn and work hard and play yeah hard. we have a lot of fun so yeah definitely. But that's yeah, what don't we, worry about the experience level yeah you know and we just we just brought on a uh, personal assistant my wife and i she's licensed now as a realtor so we're husband wife team and and that's what that's what stood out with our hire is just character you know just happy person energetic you know just just has a fire for life you know just in general exactly so. exactly so we need we need somebody right now to help out with phones. I mean, we're struggling answering the phones right now. We've had we have a full office, but the phones are ringing more and more all the time. So it's uh, we're just getting busier. It's okay. Constant, so yeah, yeah, that's that's important. Uh, and and a lot of our our companies that we're working with, Suncoast Roofing, uh, Fred Muth with Tampa Screens and Aluminum. Uh, we're building a house on the lake. You know, like we we see this trend of just the need for all types of whether it's trades if you're in the construction side you know professionals looking for for uh, good employment uh you know employers that are looking for good people absolutely absolutely our probably our our biggest need is installers we're yeah. having we're having a difficult time keeping up with our sales team uh, because the interest in solar has grown so much like uh right before we came on the air you were talking about somebody that knows that has solar yeah and how happy they are and it's spreading i mean people are understanding it's not a fad it's, yeah it's a, it's a real industry that's coming along and doing some great things sales are not hard to do right now and the installs are are what's a challenge to keeping up with the install so we need installers really badly yeah yeah and and uh if you just joined us i'm your host brandon rhymes we're talking with david ringo representing 3d solar and uh, they actually made tampa bay's uh fast 50 list they were number 12 on that list uh just everything i'm hearing back from the community all of the people that have contacted us say nothing but great things about david and his team he's got a great team going to a lot of conferences i think you just got back from another conference yeah. as well we just uh, as a matter of fact it was uh we got back from chicago there was a conference out in the midwest we came back from uh, right before that, we were in San Antonio. It was the Inc. 5000. I don't know if we even mentioned that to you, but we came in at uh, 743rd fastest growing company in the country. Wow. Uh, so first year of eligibility, and it really shocked us. We were just happy to be on the list, and uh, we got to 743. You know, it's something, something similar to the Fast 50 in Tampa, but it's national. Yeah, so it that's was, huge, man. It was, it was mind-boggling just to be on that list. And then we went out and saw what the events were there for uh, a week, and it was just 
unbelievable meeting people and that you know that are growing and entrepreneurs and cfos ceos just some really interesting people you meet out there yeah the economy's doing well and before that you were in california but so let me ask you this since you're you're out and about you're meeting a lot of people what do you see the market doing what you know overall the stock market the economy what do you see happening out there i see um you know i have my nose to the grindstone a lot in our industry so i don't see a lot outside of it but i will tell you this the the economy is the strongest I've seen it for our industry. You know, I mean, for everybody, but yeah. we are booming and, and everybody says, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of things that they point fingers to, but really it's a, it's a mixed bag of everything. We're in the right industry, the right economy, the right timing, yeah. the right state. We are, we're really uh, uh, fortunate to be where we're at with, with everything that goes that way. But the market you're right is, is crushing it right now. Yeah. And people are not afraid to, to spend money, to save money. And yep. they're doing it. People are you know, improving their homes all the time. We have people that we can't even offset their full electric bill, and they just want to go solar. Mm. And they don't have enough roof space. I sat with a guy uh, yesterday. Um, he just wants to have solar. He says, I know I'm not going to be able to get rid of my whole solar bill, but I want solar bad. Yeah. So it's it's crazy. So they they feel it's the right thing to do, it seems like. You're getting past the tire kickers in the early stage of solar in Florida, and now you're starting to see where people are. It's the right thing to do. They feel good about it. They know they're going to save money, even if they, they can't offset their whole entire bill. They know right. they're going to save the money on the portion that they are, and people are doing it. You're right. It's, yeah. Everybody's kind of getting on board. It's great. good. I like it. Uh, all right. When we come back, I want to jump into a little bit of what it looks like. If a customer says yes, what's the process look like? What's the cost benefit breakdown? I'll dive a little deeper into that when we come back. And then we also want to touch on some of the charitable stuff you're doing around the holidays. Good stuff coming up for you right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Stay with us. And uh, more from our expert contributor, David Ringo in the house, 3D Solar. And also our feel-good story, man survives hang gliding ride after pilot forgets to strap him in. Stay with us. Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. Hey everybody, I'm Forbes Riley, celebrity TV fitness host and creator of The Spin Gym. I'm here today with Brandon Rhymes, and you're listening to The Consumer Quarterback Show. Great ways to get happy, healthy, and wealthy. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372. Online at ConsumerQB.com. I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 US Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair, and Hot Locks is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978.
You're listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. Online at ConsumerQB.com. And we're back. Brandon Rhymes here, Consumer Quarterback Show, powered by Platinum MVP Realty. And uh, we're helping you win in any marketplace. That is our goal. Platinum MVP Realty. Uh, check out our website, PlatinumMVPRealty.com. All your buying, selling, investing needs, we have it covered. Uh, we've got a great team of agents that can help you, whether you're buying. We've got a great buyer agent team. They're going to make sure they're doing comparable market analysis and coaching you on the right type of offer to make. Uh, we're also uh, experts in marketing. That's really my uh, forte is the marketing side. We're helping our sellers maximize the profits on the sale of their real estate properties. And i got a hot new listing up here in Tarpon Springs over in Pinellas County, 206 Mariner Drive, Tarpon Springs, two-bedroom, two-bath, ground floor condo unit. Furnished is uh, an option for you. Pool, you got a pool on site. You got a pond view, conservation, ground floor unit, uh, $274,000. Beautiful property over at Mariner Drive in Tarpon Springs. Very close to the water. You take a nice walk and you're seeing, you're looking at beautiful waterways there. 4613 South Matanzas Avenue. This is a local celebrity's house for sale, guys. We've got Ian Beckles home listed. Uh, former Tampa Bay uh, Buccaneer and longtime radio uh, jock here in Tampa Bay. 4613 South Matanzas Avenue, uh, $729,000. Four bedrooms, three full bath. You got a half bath as well. 3,300 square feet heated. Nice backyard. And it's just a quick walk over to Bayshore Boulevard. And you're enjoying some beautiful walking and jogging on the Bayshore overlooking the waterways. Somewhere, somewhere. All right, so we got uh, we got David Ringo in the house, 3D solar, and he's a wealth of information around solar and ways that you can reduce your uh, electric bills and and just really utilize that. So that's what I wanted to dive into, David. Is you know you, you're talking to a homeowner, they they give you the yes. What's that process look like after they decide yes? Let's do this. Absolutely. Um, well, you know, once they say yes and we get everything you know figured out and finalized, all it is is after that is is just permitting. And then it's really, it's all downhill after that. It's yep. once they make the decision is the hardest part. And it's hard to separate, you know, physically, mentally separating from money to save a little bit every month. But um, once you do the numbers and everything, it's that's the the hard parts of the decision. Yeah. After that, um, we have teams in place that do all the permitting, uh, which every job needs permits. Um, we get the permits, we have the materials on hand. Then uh, after we get the permits back, some some counties take, and that's the, that's the, the, the difficult part is some of them take forever to get back uh, with some permitting. Some yeah. of them, some of them I get tomorrow. You know, yeah. it's 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 a it's a strange uh, difference between counties and AHJs, the 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 building departments. So some of them are, you know, I can go tomorrow and get a permit in certain counties. Some of them it takes weeks. But once we get that permit back, we get them scheduled. We go out. Um, probably ninety percent of the jobs we do are one day installs. And people are like, they'll come home after work and it's done. And they're like, wow. you gotta be kidding me. So that's cool. It's really cool. So we have some very efficient, really, really good installers now. Um, but we need more. I wanna, Can you I give us a little bit of an insight and, and you know, obviously you can't talk specifics, but what's, what's kind of a high, low mid range type cost for people just so they can kind of get an idea. We've got, uh, and, and it's all scary when you say the, the number up front, yeah. um, We've had systems as low as 15,000 and, and as high as, uh, we've had jobs go over a hundred thousand. Yeah. Um, but, but to say that it scares a lot of people, but, um, one of the things I want to talk to you about later in, and when we speak a little bit in more in depth, but when you take the, the overall number, let's just say it's $10,000 just for numbers, you know, yep. and you have a 30% tax credit. Um, if you, if you, if you have a tax appetite that can absorb that credit, you're, now your system's seven thousand mm. dollars as opposed to ten, so it's seventy percent on the dollar if you get the tax credit, uh, which is a great thing right now, and it's uh, it does have a uh, an end date right now, so the end of nineteen is when that finishes. So I want to make mm. sure that we talk about that because next year is the last year for the thirty percent tax credit. Um, but once you once you take that thirty percent out, it's then you're financing or paying for that portion of it. It really makes it a lot more you know digestible, if you will. But when you start saving money every month and it adds up for 20, 25, 30 years, you know, we've got modules mm -hmm. now. We've got two different modules that we have, the solar panels themselves, that have 30-year warranties on them. Wow. So when people are mortgaging a house, I'm urging people to right away go right in and start start thinking about solar. Because if you're waiting 10 years, 
uh, which some people do because of the financial status they're at or, or the DTI or whatever. But I would urge them to immediately get solar on that house as soon yeah. as they can, especially if they're moving into a new home. So. Yeah, the debt to income ratio is what he's referring to there. Uh, and also, uh, you know, maybe there's equity there. You can pull out a home equity line, add value to the home. I think that's a smart decision. When when people did the other thing, they'd pull equity out, pay off credit card debts, or go and buy you know some type of SUV or different type of. Uh, play toys that's where people got in trouble but when you're investing back in the asset it's only going to make it worth more money absolutely absolutely and and, and you're absolutely right about the home equity line of credit sometimes that's the best way to do it some people want to pay cash um and and obviously we're not going to say no but um i urge people to think about if they can to why why come out of pocket that money Just, right we've got finance options that are so we've got some of the best in the country and there's have great rates, 299s, 399s for extended periods of time up to mm. 20 years. Why would you not do that? So you can take a loan for 20 years on the solar? Absolutely. Wow. So that's Absolutely. gotta be a super low payment. It is. It's yeah. a very, very low payment. Wow. So when you do that over 20 years, you can imagine it's so much lower than what your monthly payment for electricity is. Right. But why Why not? Which electricity every year, they're raising it, what, three to 5%? You got Something it. like that. It's, it's almost 5%. We try not to use the five number, but four percent for sure yeah it's going to go up and like you said you know 10 years down the road that's quite a bit right it's quite a bit it's gone up so and if you're if you're static at a number that you're paying on a loan that's that's taking care of the same amount of electricity that was right it's cheaper for you every year it's a win in a lot of different ways for the environment for your for your pocketbook it's a win uh, you know for your savings um, so we're talking with david ringo here 3d solar uh, technologies 3d uh, solar llc 3-d solar.com correct uh, so uh what else so you got your food drive coming up you mentioned yeah absolutely we uh we're starting monday we're going to have in our lobby at our at our facility which is at uh 11435 Challenger in Odessa. It's not convenient sometimes to, to, to Pinellas, but we're gonna be doing some food drives in that area. Um, but at our office, um, starting from eight to four on Monday, December 3rd, all the way through the 21st, Monday through Friday, stop by any time, bring some you know non-perishable food items, drop them off at our place. We uh, This year we're teaming up with, uh, um, I can't remember who it was, but last year we don't. We got a, like a thousand pounds of food last year. Nice, just on one quick, you know, drive through a couple different neighborhoods, and uh, and the challenging of, you know, and in the interest of trying to be better than last year, we want to get double that. You know, yeah, so it's that's like awesome. We're trying to grow twice, you know, double every year. We want to do twice as much as we did last year. So we're opening up our our uh, front lobby for uh, food collection. So stop by if they have any questions for us while they're there. They can ask. If not, just drop the food and and head out but uh we're really excited uh we really want to beat last year's collection so we're trying to destroy that so yeah. anybody in the area it's a uh, 11435 challenger ave in odessa and uh, it's in a, an industrial park but uh stop by uh check things out if they want and uh if not drop the food we're, we're really looking forward to that so um but starting monday through the 21st eight to four during the day that lobby's open nice and just stop by and then we're going to do two food drives probably I know we're going to do one on the 17th, I think it is. Okay. And then uh, there's another one scheduled. I, I don't have the date on that one yet, but uh, but stop by the lobby. Just drop off some food. Yeah, that's awesome. It's just an easy way to do it, easy way to get involved, get in the season, uh, the spirit of the season, you know, this, this giving season. So uh, I wanted to ask you a question, too, with, you know, with the Trump tax plan, a lot of people are seeing benefits. Um, we had Jake Alexander on the show, Alexander Financial, uh, talking about some specifics with real estate uh, and, and other types of, uh, you know, so that's, I think that's a driver of the economy right now, you know, as we mentioned. Uh, what about the tariffs? Have the tariffs kind of affected your product at all in uh, terms of the, the, I guess it's the aluminum and some of the other? Yes, it has. Um, there, there's, you're going to start seeing a lot more manufacturing in the United States because of what's imported. They, they actually have the tariff on what's imported. Um, but if you... Are manufacturing these states you get a, a break so you're going to start seeing and uh we can have a discussion one way or that's the other, really whether, cool whether trump is right or wrong and all this but you're right. going to start seeing more manufacturing in the states so bring it home baby plan is starting yeah. to work and i'm not going to say you know one way or the other i don't want to go political conversation but right. it, there are more manufacturing is going to be happening in in the u.s for right that reason and it's going to help us for sure but uh no it's great so it's not really affected our us at all i mean whatever pricing we're we're battling it very well i mean we're we're trying to stay within reason but yeah we're seeing price increases on products a little bit um but at the same time we're pushing we're starting to buy in such volume that it it's starting to affect us a little bit less nice so that's, yeah that's, that's great the way we're battling it is buying in larger volumes yeah yeah you got a warehouse you can keep keep it probably and 
you know, in your industrial spots, you can keep that those some of those panels. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I read an interesting article. It talked about China, and one of the one of the reasons why we think that we're going to come out on top. One of the many reasons is that they have a, 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 an amazing appetite, hu- a huge appetite for soybeans because they feed it to their their pork and their you know and it drives their economy soybeans. So we're I guess we're exchanging soybeans at a faster rate than the, than we actually need aluminum. Okay. Or you know, like you said, bring it back home, man. Yeah, yeah I like that. Yeah. Yeah, we Good. toured a couple manufacturing facilities in the U.S. that are starting up, and we're trying to forge a you know some kind of relationship with them. But they're 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 popping up all over. Yeah, so. yeah, we need more of that America First type stuff. All right, David Ringo, 3D Solar, excellent stuff. Uh, reach out to him on his website or our website consumerqb.com. We'll put you right in touch with David Ringo, uh, the best company here in Tampa Bay and Florida, and growing in, in a lot of different states now. Three uh, D Solar dot com consumerqb.com and we'll be right back after this short break stay with us don't go anywhere feel good story is a man surviving a a hang gliding ride after pilot forgets to strap him in stay with us consumer quarterback show consumerqb.com hi i'm jerry from hot locks hair salon we are conveniently located at 13414 us highway 19 in hudson I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair, and Holox is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978. Hi, my name is Joe Stalteri. I'm one of the owners of Complete Care Systems. At Complete Care Systems, we do carpet cleaning, upholstery cleaning, tile and grout cleaning, tile and grout sealing, wood floor and laminate floor deep cleaning, as well as stripping and waxing of linoleum and vinyl floors and a whole lot more. We also run daily deals and special, which you can find at CompleteCareSystems.com or simply call Trisha up at 727 364 5158 and she'll answer all your questions and give you over the phone free estimates or she'll send me out to your home or office to give you an on-site free estimate at complete care systems we don't cut corners we clean them to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rimes, online at ConsumerQB.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813-670-7372. All right, and we're back here. Brandon Rimes, Consumer Quarterback Show, powered by Platinum MVP Realty. And I'm a top listing agent here in Tampa Bay, helping our sellers profit more on the sale of their real estate properties. Uh, we're really excited about the American Dream television show as well. We got the American Dream television show now, Apple TV, Amazon TV, Roku, uh, the CW as well. And uh, real excited about that. A lot of growth going on with the brokerage. And uh, we got a lot of hot listings out here, 35 listings. Uh, we've got a great buyer agent team. We want to help you, whether you're buying, selling, or investing, check out PlatinumMVPRealty.com. And this segment is brought to you by the Bill Maher Beach Resort, the official hotel partner 
of the Consumer Quarterback Show is the Bill Maher Beach Resort on Treasure Island, right on Gulf Boulevard. And it's filled with fantastic and generous amenities to make your vacation that much more special. The Bill Maher Beach Resort has been one of the most sought after destinations in the Treasure Island area for years. So whether you're planning a quick business trip, a wedding, a uh, family outing, check out the Bill Maher Beach Resort on beautiful Treasure Island. Let them know that the real estate quarterback sent you. Take them up on special offers and incentives just by mentioning that you're a fan of the show. And uh, Bill Maher Beach Resort, the official hotel partner of the Consumer Quarterback Show. Got a hot listing here I want to let you know about in Pinellas County, 9511 Antilles Drive in Seminole. This is a beautiful property, four bedrooms, three full bath. Got a half bath there as well. Uh, 2,820 square feet, estate-style home, David Weekly home on almost a half an acre of mature landscaping. Beautiful property listed at $585,000. Hot property here, compliments of Platinum MVP Realty. All right, all right. So we've got uh, some new additions to the show. You heard from David Ringo uh, in the first uh, segment, second segment. Now we brought in Justin Setzer, Plan to Lead. He's a leadership coach, owner of Plan to Lead. Welcome in, sir. Hey, thank Brandon. Thanks for having me. Yeah, my pleasure. Yeah, thanks for coming in. So, yeah, give us a little overview. What, how are you helping out? You're helping business owners out there with the leadership coaching, right? Yeah, yeah. So typically, a uh, uh, company will come to us. Um, typically, companies are scaling very fast. Um, there's a business rule called the Rule 3 and 10. Every time something triples, everything breaks. Mm. So the systems, the processes, everything that worked now, as Marsha Goldsmith said, what got you here won't get you there. Yeah. You know, and so they usually hire us in. They have some fast growing people. They're trying to develop their team members, uh, retain them. So we come in, we develop them, um, get them going, get them trained, empower them, teach them how to effectively delegate, grow their teams, coach their teams. And, you know, we've seen companies, you know, scale tremendously. Yeah. Um, one, if we had a comp- one of our main clients, um, they would have been also on the Inc. 5000 list, but they missed one quarter, but they would have been in the top 1,000 or 500, just like David's 3D Solar. Glad to nice. hear things are going well for you guys Thanks, um, as well. So That's awesome. What are, what is some of the common things? You know, every business, you can break it down. There's certain common traits that you're seeing uh, for, you know, the 80-20 rule applies a lot. What are some of the things that you're seeing small business owners, uh, you know, the, the challenges that they're facing? Yeah, a lot of challenges. Um, I think it's probably depends on a lot. I mean, of course, it's different industries. Of course, in any trade industry, just having enough talented people is becoming an incredible difficulty. That's a great business model for someone looking to start something and earn money long term. Um, but what we're seeing kind of nationally right now is the fact that um, 50% of employees currently don't know what their job is. Hmm. And that wow. includes manager. According to Gallup, 2 million people um, doing this. So 50% of people don't actually know clarity with their job. The vast majority of people do not know the company's um, most important goal. And less than one seventh of employees are highly engaged in their jobs. So if we can go in there and turn the knob of just clarifying roles and goals, all of a sudden you see a, what we call EROI, an employee return on investment. That's pretty tremendous. I like that. In a short, yeah. a short period of time. Um, what happens is in the midst of things that are growing very fast is um, – People are working really hard and companies that are scaling. Everyone is all hands on deck. Things are going hard. And what happens in the midst of that, when a lot of dust gets kicked out, clarity sometimes goes out the window, right? Mm-hmm. We're just trying to keep up. I mean, there's yeah. like so much going on. That's right. Um, we're just trying to keep up. So just kind of having an outside source to kind of come and help, help bring clarity. Um, it's easier to be honest with you, to be on the outside of the business and right. to see, look in than if you're inside the business, just yes. being honest. So it's a little easier to do that. Yes. Um, but just getting a bird's eye view for everybody to help you know, help things grow and give clarity to the company as they're moving forward to help them to continue to scale as they're trying to, yes. a lot of them are breaking seven, they're eight figures now, they're trying to now break into nine figure companies. So it, moving towards enterprise is a, is a big jump. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it really is when you look at businesses that, you know, especially some of the, the businesses that have, have uh, 500 employees or, or even more, you know, each person I can see how it can get convoluted. They don't know exactly what they're supposed to be working on. And if they're working in uh, the wrong area and they're, you know, essentially counterproductive for what the, the owners and management want them to be doing. Yeah. So that's a challenge that I see. And I, I remember when I went to uh, business mastery with Tony Robbins, he was talking about uh, the life cycle of a business. Some businesses are in the toddler stage. Some are more, more mature. You've got companies like uh, GE that are extremely mature, you know, they're kind of moving towards that, that senior citizen type, uh, in, in the, in the uh, scale there. So each business is going to have a different challenge at each different step of that, uh, growth pattern. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's definitely happening. What's interesting is probably 50% or more of the people are going into work every day, working really hard and actually not doing what they're supposed to. Yeah. And they don't, and they don't know it. Wow. 
So like that's a challenge. Yeah, man. according to Gallup, millions of people studied. That means the vast majority of people are they're going into work, they're working hard, but the, what they don't recognize is they're working on the wrong thing. Yeah, and I think a lot of people too, if they're if they're working in an area that they don't have a passion for, or they're not bought into the company's culture. Uh, there, there's different reasons why, but it's it's interesting. There's also studies that show uh, the heart attack rate is the highest. It's it's uh, on on Mondays from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. The, that's the highest heart attack rate amongst American adults because they're literally dreading to go into work. You know, the Sunday football game's over, their weekend party time's over, and they're they're not looking forward to going in uh, to work on Monday morning. So their heart literally attacks them. It says, hey, I don't want to go into this job. Mm. Yeah, I was literally talking with someone today. Um, they're leading um, over a company, and he literally was talking about a young guy my age. He's having heart problems already. Yeah. Like literally talking to me today about it. Yeah. And just seeing that and experiencing that today, like yeah. that conversation literally right before I came here, um, you know, leading, uh, helping lead a pretty good sized company and, um, yeah, my age in this thirties. Yeah. Yeah. It's a challenge that we see where if you just joined us, I'm Brandon Rhymes. I'm your host of the show. We're talking with Justin Setzer, uh, plan to lead. He's a leadership coach here in Tampa Bay, owner of plan to lead. So overall speaking, uh, in the economy, what do you, what do you see happening overall, uh, in general with the economy? What do you think is going to happen next year? Yeah, so I don't know if I'm not, I'll try to speak into what I can. The companies I'm working with are scaling so fast, they're not currently seeing the effects of it, but we'll see what happens over the course of time. You know yeah. what I mean? The companies I'm typically working with, you're talking about incredible 50% plus growth, you know, year over year. Um, so they're growing so fast. They have so much momentum. It's very difficult to stop a train Yeah. Uh, when it gets going. I'm sure for small businesses that are, are not off the ground, they're probably struggling uh, a, a little bit more. I think the last couple of years though, we've all had, I'm sure, some pretty good years. Yeah, that's the, that's one of the things too. I listen to a lot of podcasters, and they say if you're not making money, if you're not doing well in this economy, then you, you got to be doing something wrong. Yeah, I mean our business tripled year over year, so um, just it is. It's just I mean you just as long as you're caring for people, taking care of people, helping them, you know, reach their dreams, you should be doing pretty good right now. Right, and delivering for your customers, your client. You got you know that's the thing too with businesses. You have external customers, your people that you're selling to, your products or services, but you also have your internal customers, your 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 employees, your people that you really got to take care of. You got to care about them. Are some of your companies, are you seeing uh, ESOP programs, employment stock option programs, things like that to incentivize them? What do you, what do you think about those areas of incentivizing the employees uh, to hit goals and to, to really show them some reward and show them some love? Yeah, obviously I think uh, those monetary awards and other things help. I mean, for the companies I'm working with, and typically they just uh, have very high cash bonuses. Yeah. You know, so people can make, you know, you can make an extra, you know, five figures or so extra per quarter. Um, each quarter if you hit your metrics and hit your goals so that speaks a lot to it so yeah they're they're offering a lot typically what's you know very common so do you guys want to know what the number one um indicator of whether somebody will have employee um job satisfaction is sure it's the feeling of control the feeling of control yeah. that they're in control they're feeling that they're in control so mm -hmm. lots of times the companies i'm working with are virtual they give a lot of flexibility to do that in fact for a lot of people they'll give up a week of vacation to mm -hmm. have flexibility in the week to week uh, time so that's the number one indicator um i don't know if you've ever had a boss that's kind of been micromanaging you right uh, but it really takes the breath out of your lungs right um so if you are if you don't have control and two you're not appreciated so right you have less lock less lock excuse me loss of control and low engagement it's gonna be difficult that's a big one the, that appreciation man i can't talk about how far that goes when you just tell somebody you appreciate them i, I thank you for that you know, that gratitude rule, it's just such a major part of business. Yeah. And there's a, there's a real quick, easy three step to appreciate somebody, um, is, is real quick. And number one, you, you tell them that you saw what they did. So mm. let's say, Hey, sh Hey, Sharon, I noticed that, um, that you worked really hard overnight, um, with that company to sell it. And then you, number two, you tell them why it stood out. Not only you say what they did, but number two, why did it stand out? And Sharon, when everybody else gave up on this project because they were being very difficult for the last couple of pieces of compliance, you stood in there like a bulldog and got that. Number three, you tell them why what they did impacted the company's vision, mission, or bottom line. So Sharon, because you did that, that company signed up for two years and we're gonna hit our numbers for the next two quarters guaranteed. That's awesome, Sharon. I appreciate you because of what you've done. You have made our job easier and we're hitting our goals. You are like that. an asset to our company. Yeah, I like that. That's that's good stuff. Uh, Justin Setzer, Plan to Lead. You got a website, Justin? Yeah, plan to lead com. Plan to lead com. Reach out, Justin Setzer. He can help you with your business here as well. Um, and a longtime friend as well. I've known yes. Justin for many years. Long, so. Many years.
So uh, plan to lead.com, check them out. And when we come back, more from our expert contributors here in studio, we're going to have some more nuggets of advice in our lightning round. Our feel good story is a good one. Man survives hang gliding ride after pilot forgets to strap them in. We got the video for that if you're watching our TV show as well on WeBeam TV. So stay with us right here. Consumer quarterback show, consumerqb.com. Hey, I'm Ken Shamrock, and you're here with Consumer Quarterback Show. And I say, Brandon Rhymes, knock out your competition. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372, online at ConsumerQB.com. I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 US Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair, and Hot Locks is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978. Consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. Online at ConsumerQB.com. All right, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rhymes here, your host of the Consumer Quarterback Show, powered by Platinum MVP Realty, PlatinumMVPRealty.com for all your real estate needs. And we have, in a couple of days coming up, we got the world's largest, or Tampa Bay's largest, rather, uh, speed networking event. Uh, we should go, we're going to go for a world record on it. Let's do it next time. So December 6th, we've got the Earthscape Garden Room in Palm Harbor, uh, just off of 19, alternate 19 in Palm Harbor. Awesome venue. Uh, by day, it's a landscaping uh, type of a, a business, but at night, they have awesome events. Paulina's really helping us uh, put together a really cool event here. So we're going to have uh, the... Uh, a large speed ne speed networking, 6 to 9 p.m., probably go to 9, 30, 10, maybe. Uh, bring your business cards. We're going to have talk of the town goodie bags that we're giving out. If you're a business, local business here, and you have something to insert into those goodie bags, please let us know. Uh, we have photo booth going to be on site. DJ Ian Doubt. Uh, we've got the bartender Steve is going to be there as well. S'mores. We're going to have raffle that's going on, going to be benefiting the Children's Cancer Center. Uh, we've got tables available as well, just a couple of tables left. Eventbrite.com. Check it out. we got a Facebook page as well. If you want to check out Tampa Bay's largest speed networking event, uh, compliments of the Consumer Quarterback Show, uh, Thursday, December 6th, coming up right around the corner here. And uh, every day we're going to tell you something positive here in our Feel Good segment. Tell me something good. All right, so we got a man that survives a hang gliding ride after pilot forgets to strap him in. Check out this video. We've got a Florida man survived a near-death experience with just a fractured wrist and a torn bicep after his uh, first day of vacation in the Swiss Alps. Chris Gursky went hang gliding, but the pilot forgot to attach his harness to the glider. And for more than two minutes, Gursky had to hang on for his life. Uh, the pilot's mistake almost cost him his life. Gursky is thankful to be alive and says he plans to go hang gliding again. 
uh, since he, quote, did not get to enjoy my first flight. So it's a really cool, uh, you know, if you get a chance to watch the whole video, check the video out. But uh, he's having trouble hang gliding here, and uh, he's just hanging on. He's got left hand on the uh, on the uh, the bar that's going across the front that's attached to the uh, tires of the hang glider, and his right hand is kind of just on the shoulder, and they've, they did a couple different uh, – maneuvers here where he at one point he gets his leg hooked underneath his elbow and he he brings his arm around the the, the glider the, the other person that's strapped in uh he brings it around there so interesting story man survives hang gliding ride uh, after pilot forgets to strap him in so pretty cool stuff and i love that we have the graphics now with our tv show we got the version of the the tv show with we beam tv but we got a great lineup in here today we've got uh, paulina in the house as well she just joined us uh, from catering to cocktails to new hot spots and networking, it's your girl Paulina Hi, in the house as well. So, <laughs> what you been up to? Me. Oh my gosh, so much is going on. I wanted to elaborate a little bit further on the event coming up because, as you know, you guys, I walk around with this clipboard all day long, making yeah. it amazing day by day. Yeah. Um, I know that we haven't talked very thoroughly about what the raffle is, so I wanted to share a little bit of the uh, contributions that yeah, we've what received. we have. That's right. We have. Um, Clean Machine Coin Laundry gift certificates located right in Palm Harbor. We have a gift certificate for two to Home Plate, my favorite breakfast place. Nice. Shout outs to Cindy. We have a gift certificate, Chicka Boom Room. Okay. We have two tickets for um, a comedy show at Snappers and dinner included. Okay. We have a gift certificate to Southern Bay Bakery for all your baking needs. Holidays are right around the corner. Yummy. West Chase Pizza, Belladora, Dolce. Uh, Crab Shack restaurant. I mean, that's just half of the list, but yeah. I wanted to get you guys really excited because all this uh, money is going to support the Children's Cancer Center in yes. Tampa. And if you guys are starting to know me at all, you know that the kids, they hit my soft spot. I'm just yeah. like, oh, I need to help them immediately. That's awesome. Yeah. The Children's Cancer Center, they do a great job. I think it's something like 1,100 families in the Tampa Bay area that they're supporting uh, that get, you know, stricken with cancer. And then, you know, there's other organizations that work on a cure. They work on the research. They they work on those types of things. But Children's Cancer Center actually, you know, helps the families in need, paying uh, paying car notes for them, helping them with food, helping them with all types of uh, whatever they need, travel arrangements, you know, helping console. They have the awesome center on Cyprus where people can come in on certain nights and they have different parties and events and the kids can come in and just really enjoy some downtime. Yeah, they're so sweet. And I we are going to definitely take some time to go visit down there and Whoever wants to come to join us, Brandon and I are going to go set that up because yeah. it's our future. we got to do everything for the kids. Absolutely. So this event is a really great chance for everybody to get involved and also support all the local businesses that are out there. They're going to be selling items for holiday ideas and things like that. And then right after our event is over, just have to mention one more, on December 15th at the uh, Ruth Edgar Hall, um, the Edgar Connectors are having an ugly sweater party, and they support kids that are in foster care mm. that really get overlooked over on Christmas time. Yeah, that's another and one. So, um, uh, tickets are fifty bucks. You could definitely go on and visit. I'll be there. Come cool. on in with me, and uh, we have a lot of things to do. Um, of course, remember for all your holiday needs, Amici's Catered Cuisine is here for you. That's right. Whether that is a buffet, a served meal, we have the um, action stations where the chef cooks for you. Um, our food also looks beautiful and it's also delicious just happens to work out that great and um i'll be seeing you at the event december 6 where pagali vodka will also be donating some samples for us to try out nice yeah we got 135 registered as of today <sighs> probably going to exceed 150 i would think I'm it's going to be so a nervous. lot of fun great event <laughs> so speed networking event thursday december 6th at the earthscape garden room uh palm harbor just off of alt 19 6 to 9 30 ish p.m yeah. uh bring your business cards talk of the town uh, goodie bags, photo booth, DJ, Ian Down, s'mores, raffles. Uh, we got the uh, table opportunities for you. Check out eventbrite.com and also our Facebook page. You'll be able to find more information about it. All right, it's time for the lightning round. We're going to jump into the lightning round. The lightning round. I am so good at lightning rounds. I majored in lightning so, rounds. Top tips, nuggets of advice, parting words of wisdom. Justin Setzer, plan to lead leadership coach. Yeah, I know a lot of people will be setting up goals for their company or businesses this year, but instead of trying to do 50 or 100 goals, I would encourage you just to find one goal or what's called a keystone habit, mm. which means it's one goal that helps you accomplish many other. Personally, for instance, you may have one goal. You might want to get up in the morning. You may want to work out. You may want to do all this stuff, but just set up one goal of going to bed on time. Then mm. you get up in the morning, you do your quiet or meditation, whatever you do. You get to go to the gym, 
Uh, for businesses, too, don't set more than three, because if they say you set more than three, you will hit zero. Yeah, that's right. It does. It goes one, two, three, too many. You know, that's that's kind of the joke there in that industry. But, uh, yeah, maybe we'll have to have you come into the office, Justin, and do a little thing for our real estate team, something Absolutely. like that. Yeah, I love that. David Ringo, 3D Solar. Yes, the, the one thing I would say is is we're going to save this a lot next year, but 2019 is the last year for that 30% tax credit we were talking about earlier. So if anybody's even on the fence on solar, have somebody come out and talk to you. Look at the numbers. Just check it out. It, Consultation's you know, free? Absolutely. Free yeah. consultation. We come out and see you. No pressure. If you don't buy, it's no big deal. We don't twist anybody's arm. Yeah. So, but next year, it, it's a sense of urgency. The 30% tax credit is gone at the end yeah. of next year. So yeah. if, you're, if you're thinking about it, considering it, if your neighbor has it, ask them about it. Get, have somebody come out and talk to you. We'd love to come out and talk to you free, free of charge, like you said. That's right. So, yep. 3-dsolar.com. All right, Paulina, what you got going on? Well, speaking of free consultations, Amici's provides a free tasting every month. So if you're planning a party, whether it's at your home or a venue, once you have that settled, give us a call and you can come out and eat your way through two rooms and a dessert bar and, you know, taste a little bit of all the other vendors that we work with to make your party the best ever. And yeah. you can finally be a guest at your party. And then my other tiny little nugget is... The event on December 6th, ladies do not wear heels. There's shells mm. everywhere. Do not wear heels. Wedges, okay, we'll put it off, but um, yeah. no heels. Good stuff. I like that. <laughs> so my my nugget here, I, I will talk about the uh, 80-20 rule, Pareto principle, 1895. All the way back to 1895, Italian economist Wilfredo Pareto noticed that uh, the wealth distribution in Italy at the time uh, was divided, what he called the vital few. Uh, and you had 20% uh, of the landowners or wealth uh, holders uh, having that, 80%. So the 80-20 rule, you'll see that in a lot of different areas in your life, in your business, personal life. Uh, some of the funny ones I've heard is that 80% of the people or 20% of the people drink 80% of the beer. You know, <laughs> one that's not so funny is you got 20% of the people committing 80% of the crimes. So the 80-20 rule is prevalent. You got 20% of the real estate companies doing 80% of the business. You know, you find that along a lot of ways. But how you can apply it to your life is the 20% of task and the habits that you create, as Justin mentioned, you know, that's going to contribute to 80% of your success. So the 80-20 rule, focus on it and plan for it. Because we're in that time of the year where you want to plan for it. Uh, we got a couple minutes left. Justin, you got another tip for us? Yeah, I like what you said about the habits. I've heard someone say before, it's the small things that no one sees that gives you the big results that everybody wants. Yes. The small things that That's everybody right. sees that gives you the big results that, that everybody wants. That's right. And habits are thousands times more powerful than sheer will alone. Yeah, you, know, so, you can't will yourself to do it. Yeah, according yeah. to universities, a big study done, 40% of all that you do unconsciously is simply habits. Yes. It becomes, yes. It's very difficult. It takes a lot of front energy to create a habit, but once you establish a habit, it becomes automatic for you in your life. When you go home, you sit in the same area, you eat dinner in the same spot. Yes. You know, you wake up, you do the same things, you know, so once you create a habit, it becomes autopilot. Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's a big one. You know, the habits that we create, they're really dictating who we are, who, you know, our life is, what our life becomes to be. And, you know, big proponent of, of personal development, you know, investing in yourself, you know, you've got to increase your self-worth before you can increase your net worth when it comes to making more money. There's simple ways to do it. We talk about on the show a lot about how uh, it's not so much a lack of resources like people complain about, but it's a lack of resourcefulness. You know, you're not resourceful enough. You go to YouTube, you can find any kind of information you want. Uh, if you don't like to read books, you can pull up audio books. You can go to, you know, you can find videos on, on whatever type of area that you might need to improve on, or you have a focus where you want to grow uh, there's there's a lot of resources available for you out there. And I want to thank our expert contributors uh, today. We've got Justin Setzer, PlanToLead.com, uh, David Ringo, 3D Solar, uh, excellent opportunities for homeowners to increase the value of their home, save money on electric bills, take advantage of tax incentives as well. Your girl, Paulina, as well, Majesty Marketing, uh, Michi's Cater Cuisine. Uh, shout out to Cicino's as well, the uh, clothier of the Consumer Quarterback Show, Ron Cicino. Sharp. Is he back in town? Ron um, back yet? Monday, Monday. We're all okay, <laughs> cool. So, uh, yeah. So, hey, want to thank all of our expert contributors, our team behind the scenes putting it together. 80 plus show partners now with the Consumer Quarterback Show. We've got CPAs, financial advisors, estate planning attorneys, all different types of folks that can help you live a better life, avoid commission based advice. And we want to be your consumer advocate right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Five o'clock drive time, 1380 The Biz, the Wall Street Business Network. Got a weekend show on FM 1025 The Bone, daily TV show on WeBeam TV, 10 a.m. And we want you to please go out there, 
and consider committing a random act of kindness. Pack up some food or clothing, hand it to that person that you see in need, be a force for good in the community, volunteer, and uh, just do something kind for one another. We'll see you next time. Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. You've been listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Whether it's real estate, consumer, or financial advice, let Brandon call your next play. Contact Brandon Rhymes at 813-670-7372. That's 813-670-7372. Online at ConsumerQB.com. And join us next time for the Consumer Quarterback Show. Weekday afternoons at 5 on AM 1380, The Biz. Are you a real estate agent looking to take your business to the next level and supercharge your marketing? Hi, I'm Brandon Rimes, owner of Platinum MVP Realty and host of the Real Estate Quarterback Show, syndicated radio and TV show talk program on iHeartRadio, 1025 The Bone, daily five o'clock drive time on 1380 The Biz, and our TV show is on WeBeam TV. We're looking for real estate agents that wanna join our team and supercharge their marketing, utilizing some of our innovative strategies. We utilize the Real Geeks platform, Facebook marketing, internet marketing, and a lot of the traditional methods as well. Postcard mailers mailed for you. Postage, signage, business cards, all paid for by the company. Aggressive real estate splits and ways to help you win in any marketplace. We need you to go out, take applications and work our plethora of leads that we're generating on a daily basis. Reach out by clicking the form below and we'd love to have a confidential interview with you.